Nobel Prize winning author Ken Zabudo Oe has called on the Japanese government to shut down all nuclear power plants in the country. The Nobel laureate made the appeal with four other speakers at an event in Tokyo on Thursday. Oe urged the audience of 1200 to take action and refer to the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945. Popular film director Yoji Yamada said he thinks everyone shares regret, sorrow and anger because they accepted the peaceful use of nuclear power without question. He encouraged opponents of atomic energy to join hands regardless of their ideology or status. Oe is organizing a major rally in Tokyo on September 19th to call for the abolition of nuclear power plants. A legal requirement to use less electricity in Japan has come to an end. Electricity supply capacity fell after the Fukushima nuclear plant accident in March. The government started demanding a 15% cut in consumption in July. The requirement came to an end on Friday night. That's sooner than originally planned due to falling temperatures and declining electricity demand. While the requirement was in effect, large users served by Tokyo and Tohoku electric power companies were legally mandated to reduce their power consumption. To meet the target, businesses adjusted their work schedule. For instance, car makers closed their plants on weekdays and operated on weekends instead. Private homes were also asked to chip in. In the end, though, the power suppliers didn't have to resort to planned outages this summer. The industry ministry says the power-saving efforts by companies and private homes proved more than effective. But there are concerns about possible power shortages this winter. That's because a large number of nuclear power plants around Japan are shut down for inspection. We'll review the effectiveness of this summer's power-saving measures and study steps we should take in winter. We will try to avoid imposing an electricity usage limit again. Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, has begun stress tests on idle nuclear reactors in Niigata Prefecture. The tests were imposed by the Japanese government as a condition before reactors are put back online. TEPCO began a test on Friday at two of the seven reactors at the Kashiwazaki Kariwa nuclear plant. The utility plans to assess their resistance to earthquakes and tsunamis through a series of computer simulations. The next step will be to obtain the approval of local authorities, but so far, opinions remain divided. If the safety of the reactors is confirmed by the stress tests, there is no reason to keep the power station offline. The governor of Niigata Prefecture appears more reluctant. He says uh, a proper assessment of the Fukushima accident will be needed before the reactors can be restarted. Three kilometers from the city, the Vladimir Ilyich Lenin nuclear power plant, where several thousand people go to work each day. Tonight, the 176 employees of Block 4 have been ordered to carry out a test on a self-fueling system of the reactor, something that could save energy. At 1.23 a.m., the security systems are deactivated and the experiment begins. A series of detonations go off in the core of the reactor. While Pripyat sleeps peacefully, the floor of the plant begins to tremble. ton cover of the reactor suddenly blasts into the air. An ultra-powerful stream of radioactive vapor releases uranium and graphite over hundreds of meters around the plant. From the gaping hole, a spray of fire charged with radioactive particles in fusion shoots a thousand meters into the sky. There were a lot of colors, and they were really bright, orange, red. Sky blue. Colors like blood. A rainbow. It was beautiful. <laughs> the 
most serious nuclear accident in history has just taken place.